and we've got a finance company that just contacted us and said they've got a customer that they've been trying to work with that hasn't been going very well and they were getting ready to send it out for repo and the people came in to their store and I guess they're there right now and we get these from time to time where they ask us how far away we are and what they want us to do is they want us to run over there and hook the vehicle and lift it in the air and just the people are trying to negotiate and they don't want them to leave with the vehicle and not make the payment and so since they basically brought the car to them they don't want to let it get away some of our finance companies have GPS devices that they have employees can go out and put on them and other places uh, just use boots they'll boot the vehicle right there in the parking lot this finance company doesn't uh, have either at this time, so. They're calling us to come hook the vehicle. And luckily I was within a vicinity that was close enough that they're gonna hopefully be able to stall them long enough for us to get in there and get this car on the lift. They just gave me the description and the license plate of the vehicle. Going and going and going until we can do a U turn way down there. Looks like it's nose in, so. There's somebody in the vehicle. Hey, what's up? vehicle by the front end, throw a safety chain around the frame, so I 
Just in case they get the crazy idea to try to drive it off the lift. They can't do that. Looks like the girls just came walking out of the store and just freaking out. Manager, know we've got it hooked. It's hooked. Yep, yep. The guy, there were two guys in it. They both got out, and then the chick came running out of the store and started freaking out and started crying and freaking out. So. She's like, she's, she's like, she's like wigging. She came out of the front of the store and she was like wigging. Oh yeah, I got it. I'm ready to go anytime. So you want me to go and just take it down to the impound? Okay. So they're not, they're not going to get in the back here. Any chance or anything? Okay. All right. Okay, she's going back. She's going back in the store, and she looks like she is out for blood. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yeah, no, no, I got it clean. Yeah, they've left the store. Looks like they're, looks like they're on foot now. Yeah. Do you want me to try to stop her and get a key, or what? Okay, well she's like Okay, I know I got you. Okay. Alrighty. Uh-huh. Okay. No problem, bite. She said by no uncertain terms do we put this vehicle down, so I'm gonna leave it just like it is and Throw the dollies on the front. about being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, in a hot situation like that where you got the people right there within running distance and they've still got the keys in their possession. You just don't even risk dropping a vehicle and trying to grab it from the front for the convenience factor. You just throw the dollies and get out of there. Finance company warned me mess around with the people that they had everything to lose to try to keep this car so got a hook from the back clean just finish the job and vamanos all right we're up here in midvale utah looking for an 05 blue ford taurus here in this apartment complex It looks like there's a gate between this one and the one right next to it. I think that we're going to find our vehicle in the one right next to it. Just going to pull out. Go around the front side. Get our back window camera turned on here.
That's our vehicle. Backed in right over there. Helps out when they're front wheel drive. They back them in for us. Got the ice cream truck out here. What's up? I'm not called the lady. I'm sorry, what? I have the paper, I go to the paper. Okay? I call the people, I touch for the... Supposed to be, supposed I have the receipt for everything. Okay. 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 We're just we're, we're just the transport company. We're not we're not the actual title loan company. We're just the ones that pick up the cars and then move them and stuff. You need to talk to the actual title on place about the loan. I know. I we don't we don't we don't go the pay. I go today. That's fine. We don't we don't deal with that. We just they send us an order to pick up the car and that's all we do. And this is the people I said no. So I have the paper have it. No I, I tell him I understand what he's saying but just tell him I did that he can have all the papers he wants. That doesn't do anything for my job. My job is just to pick the car up, Same take it to them and drop it off. He needs to take the paper into them and then show it to them and then deal with them. We just move the cars, that's all we do. So, so where you, you We'll know? take it to them, they'll have it and then you just contact them and then they will and then they'll tell so you how you to don't get the know car. Where is, uh, you guys put it? We don't we don't I know where we put it, we take it to their impound. They have us take it to one of their their impound and uh Yeah. So just you just have to contact them and then talk to them. There's nothing that we that 8:43. I don't know what time their stores are open till. If they're open till nine, they might still be there. You might try calling the yeah, store. Yeah, I, I go today a bit pay, and uh, he say uh, hey, so he told me going. he told me I'm uh, supposed to be called the manager, but what uh, a pay till Monday. Corporate, so the, the the corporate manager. Yeah. Yeah, she's they're the ones that send us the orders to pick up the cars. So I don't again I can't you know I. I don't know anything about your guys' loan. I just I just move the cars around. Yep, no say. I'm not the guy you could borrow the money from, so trying to discuss your loan with me is not gonna do any good. Get pulled down the street here, put some straps on it away from the house. A whole parking lot full of people there that wanted to be looky loos, so. You never know when one of them is going to turn out to be a vigilante and make your life harder. That's why our job is just to get the collateral and 
get out of there and then strap it down somewhere a little bit safer. Or at least more practical. I'm up here in Farmington, Utah. We're going by this uh, given address a second time looking for a 99 Ford F-250, red in color. It's got a specialty plate on it. I came by the other night. There's a bunch of vehicles outside and the notes say that the vehicle's most likely with the sun at a different address, but the other address is a no good address. So I decided to come by during the daytime and scope it out. There's no vehicles here right now. Today's Memorial Day, so looks like people might be out camping or at a fireworks show or parade or something, but I think my timing might have turned out to be just perfect because as I was leaving, I could see through the fence a red Ford pickup backed all the way around behind the house. And I looked and verified the plate. It is our truck. It's all the way. It's right behind that fence right there. I just barely got a glimpse of it as I went through. Turned here and looked through the fence. It's one of those things that I would have totally missed at night. Actually, it's one of those things that I did totally miss at night. Sucks, all these sprinklers are on. I just barely washed my truck. <laughs> Can't even tell the truck's back there. How you doing? That the bill was paid. Well, they didn't tell us that. I, I, I'll get them on the phone right now. Okay, go ahead and get them on the phone. But they didn't tell us the bill was paid, so our job's our job till we we're told not to run it. And I got personal stuff in there. That's fine, we'll let you get personal property out of it. Yeah, I, I got guns in there. That's fine, we can, you can, we'll let you get anything personal you need out of the vehicle. We don't need the personal possessions, just the truck. Oh, you're fine. What day did you pay it? Because they're saying that they don't show any record that it's been paid current. It was paid yesterday. You, and where did you do that at? My son did it. I'll call him. Oh, they, they're closed on Sunday, so it couldn't have been yesterday. Saturday. 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, I'll tell him that. All righty. Hey. Oh, bye. When did you pay? <clears throat> When did you pay? The tow trucks right here got my truck up in the air. Yes. Well, I receipt ain't gonna help. He needs to talk to them. I just talked to them. They said that they don't show that the thing's been paid in full. So she said the best thing she can do is talk to you at 10 o'clock um in the morning and then she said if for some reason there's some kind of mistake on their part they'll take care of it but she said as far as their system shows they that, the payment. no the guy, <coughs> is the guy is taking it well the guy said the bill was not paid in full they're taking it done i don't know i don't know The guy can't take the payment. Yeah, we don't collect payments. He can't take, 
he, the tow driver can't take. Nobody is there. No, you cannot. It's gone. Oh, it's. They're taking it. Pay the thing off in full. It has to be paid off in full. That's the rule. Well, I'm going to get my gun out of the truck. They're taking it. Nothing like that. guys if I get shot here hope someone gets a hold of this video footage We take it to their, they have a, their own impound in Salt Lake City and they hold it there so after you guys wait, make whatever arrangements with them, they'll help tell you where to go to pick it back up. still a lot of personal items in there, guys. If you guys want to clean them out here, or do you just want to come get the vehicle tomorrow? Okay. It'll be locked in an impound, so the stuff that's in there will be safe. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, you got a key I can keep with it? That way I can make sure it stays locked up and that you'll get the same key back with the truck. Okay. Uh, I had been glancing back over towards the house looking through this fence when I was leaving. I would have never seen the red of the front of the truck. And they had this thing tucked way back here and there were vehicles, probably three or four vehicles in here. So even if I had found it at night, there's no way I would have gotten to it. it. Had to be in the middle of the day like today on a holiday when no one's here. It's got the door open being a cool cat so far so he's walking around with a loaded weapon though which you never do like when you're on a repo someone changes their mind or gets pissy turn ugly fast looks like he's going through it one more time just to see if there's anything else in there he wants to get out before we take off with it my biggest concern right now is somebody else getting here before I get out of here. I'm trying to block me in. If I see anything come up that driveway, I'm going to have to roll forward. I'm not going to get boxed in back here. Come on, dude. Let's wrap this up. Comes. 
kids grabbing a bunch of paperwork and stuff. Relocking the door. Can you pull it off there for you? Just locked them in the door. Oh! I think you just locked the truck up with the keys in it. Yep. I'm in here. Oh, I've got multiple exits. Someone comes across the driveway I can go straight across there vice versa I'm not tucked back in that corner like I was anyway there's st there's still stuff in there okay yeah we'll make we'll make sure that it's all locked up you got a car guy yeah you bet Certified asset recovery. Yeah, just tell them we're contracted by. That's the other fucking problem. Uh, do I? Do you give me a receipt or anything? No, you just you can call them on uh, tomorrow. She said at 10 a.m. and then they'll make whatever arrangements you need to get the vehicle back. So. Tells us by the way he's been parking it way back in there like that. He knew this was coming. This whole we've made our payment and all that stuff is just. He called somebody on the phone that he seemed to think made the payment. You could tell just by the way they were talking that they hadn't. You could also tell by the way he was answering their questions that they were asking things like. Got the truck yet? Can you move it? Can you block it? You know, you can tell by way what he was saying on the phone that the person on the other end was somebody who's probably dealt with repossession in the past. Probably a grandson or maybe even son. Looking for any way to avoid what was already happening, keep it from happening. But he was like, they got it, they got it. <laughs> so we still gotta head north a little bit for another one while we're at this far north, so we're gonna take this to a stash location, drop it, keep it hidden for a minute, and then we'll uh, go run north and check for this prelude. And then on our way back south, if we don't get the prelude, we'll grab this. If we do get the prelude, then we'll transport it and come back up and get this. Stagger them, one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. That was good heads up, looking through that fence coming up during the daylight. That's why you do your day runs and your night runs. You see things differently, different days of the, different hours of the day. 
and that was a prime example of it right there. This bright red truck was shining right through that fence. I was able to run up, verify the plate, and then go to work.